Hello, this is Chen Yan, your Chinese language teacher. The most commonly used negation in Chinese are bu and mei, means not in English. Both bu and mei negate verbs and adjectives. However, they are not interchangeable. So in today's lesson, we're going to talk about when to use bu and when to use mei. What are the differences between bu and mei? Let's talk about it. Firstly, I want to talk about tone change rules about bu. Bu, in normal situation, it will be spoken as the fourth tone, followed by first tone, second tone, and third tone. For example, don't drink. Bu he. Bu he. Cannot. Bu neng. Bu neng. Not good. Bu hao. Bu hao. But when it followed by fourth tone, the tone changed to be second tone. For example, it's not. Bu shi. Bu. Shi. Not correct. Bu dui. Bu dui. Now let's talk about the first usage of bu. Bu can be placed in front of a verb. It's used to negate action that you don't want to do in present or you don't intend to do in the future. For example, I don't go to the library. 我不去图书馆。我不去图书馆. That means you don't want to go to the library at this moment. Another example. The boss won't come to the company tomorrow. 老板明天不来公司。老板明天。不来公司. I don't want to cook today. 我今天不想做饭. 我今天不想做饭. The second usage of "bu" can be used to negate habitual actions, such as eating habit. For example, I don't smoke. 我不抽烟。我不抽烟. Another example. I don't eat meat. 我不吃肉。我不吃肉. I don't listen to opera. 我不听歌剧。我不听歌剧。the third usage of bu can be placed in front of adjective. It's used to negate adjectives. For example, I'm not tired. 我不累。我不累。I'm not fat. 我不胖。我不胖。I'm not busy. 我不忙。我不忙. The fourth usage of bu can be used to ask questions. We call it affirmative negative question. The structure is verb or adjectives plus bu plus verb or adjective plus object. For example, do you eat grapes? 你吃不吃葡萄? 你吃不吃葡萄? Do you watch movie? 你看不看电影? 你看不看电影? Are you hungry? 你饿不饿? 你饿不饿? 
Are you cold? 你冷不冷？你冷不冷 ？Okay, now let's talk about May. The first usage of May is used to negate verb 有 means don't have. You cannot use 不 to negate 有，不有 and that is wrong. The structure is subject plus 没 plus 有 plus object. For example, I don't have a boyfriend. 我没有男朋友。我没有男朋友。Another example: I don't have a mobile phone. 我没有手机。我没有手机。I don't have an elder sister. 我没有姐姐。我没有姐姐。The second usage of may or 没有 can both used to negate action that happened in the past, or to state that something has not happened yet. The structure is subject plus 没 or 没有 plus verb plus object. For example, I didn't go to work yesterday. 我昨天没上班。我昨天没上班。I didn't go shopping. 我没有去逛街。我没有去逛街。He didn't send an email to me. 他没有给我发邮件。他没有给我发邮件。The third usage of 没 or 没有 can both be used to making comparison, meaning not as as. The structure is noun one plus 没 or 没有 plus noun two plus adjective. For example. Today is not as cold as yesterday. 今天没有昨天冷。今天没有昨天冷。I'm not as tall as you. 我没有你高。我没有你高。Black tea is not as good as green tea. 红茶没有绿茶好喝。红茶没有绿茶好喝。After we learn the usage of 不 and 没 let's look at what the differences between 不 and 没。不 is to express The subjective opinion, just like speakers' personal opinions. For example, I don't want to get married. 我不结婚。我不结婚。So that means the speaker doesn't want to get married. But may is to express the objective fact that happened in the past. For example, I'm not married. 我没结婚。我没结婚。That means I'm not married yet, but maybe I will marry in the future. Thank you for watching. I hope this lesson is clear for you. Please leave your question and comment. By the way, I want to say I wish you have a happy new year with joy and peace. I'll see you again next year. 再见。